my line of work, most of the time when I talk about a bandsaw, I'm just talking about cutting timber. And you know, 85% of the time, that's what I'm gonna be using it for. But this machine here actually allows me to cut a variety of materials. And the way it does that is it has a variable speed on the motor. So your traditional bandsaw has one speed. You can change the blades to coarser or finer, depending on the type of cutting you're doing. But really, you're just limited to cutting timber. This machine here really opens us up in conjunction with using bimetal blades to be cutting uh, aluminium, copper, steel, and even cast iron. And in a workshop like mine, where I do a really wide variety of projects, encompassing a whole bunch of different materials, this just means that I've got one machine that gives me the flexibility to do a whole range of tasks uh, more efficiently than I could with uh, a variety of machines in the shop. So I'm gonna jump in and cut some aluminium and I've got some uh, mild steel here. How do I know what blade to use and what speed to run it at? I'm cheating because there's a lovely little cheat sheet right here on the machine. It shows you what material you're using, a range of TPI, of teeth per inch, that you're gonna be uh, working within, and also a speed range. It's specifying the speed range in feet per minute. You can kind of think of it like revolutions per minute. The machine itself has a slow to fast uh, rotary dial here, which allows you to alter the speed. And it's also got a digital readout, which shows you exactly what speed you're running at. When we're moving into cutting uh, harder materials, metals, aluminium and steel, for instance, what we need to do is use a much, much finer blade, a, a much finer teeth per inch. So for our standard timber blades, they might start at three TPI or even less for a ripping blade, up to maybe uh, six to 10 TPI on you know, this blade here, which is just a more a general purpose uh, cutting, cross cutting and, and general purpose timber blade. When we're moving into harder blades, for um, steel and, and other metals. What we, we're gonna be moving up past 10, 15, 24 TPI. What this gives you is a ton of teeth per inch. If you think of a hacksaw blade, you've got those tiny, tiny teeth and it's really good for cutting metal, whereas a timber blade, like on a handsaw, is much coarser. The other thing that we need to keep in mind when we're moving away from timber into metal is we're actually gonna need a harder metal in the blade. So your standard bandsaw blades for timber, they're a you know, high-speed spring steel, they are a hardened steel, they're pretty tough and they're perfect for timber, but they're just not hard enough to be cutting denser materials like uh, steel itself. These bimetal bandsaw blades have your traditional spring steel, high-speed steel at the back, but they actually have a much denser alloy, a cobalt alloy on the teeth, which can withstand the much higher force required to cut through steel or copper or aluminium. So these are still hard enough, obviously, to cut through timber, but the teeth are a bit too fine. So you might find that it's uh, a bit too slow. There's no one set TPI, which will cut all of these materials. You really need a variety. And depending on what kind of work that you do in your shop, you should find one that suits the materials that you're cutting. So the blade that I actually have in the machine right now is called a 10 to 14 TPI, and it is perfectly happy cutting hardwood. I wouldn't use it for ripping, but it's great for clean cross cuts. And this will also cut aluminium if we slow the saw down a bit. I'm gonna start with aluminium. It specifies six to 14 TPI, running at 990 to 1980. Uh, feet per minute. That's a huge range and it would depend on how thick the aluminium was that you were cutting. This is a really thin piece so it can be cut really fast. Um, set the machine up, do a test cut like everything that I've ever said. <laughs> Don't jump straight into cutting the really important piece of metal that you're working on. Uh, make sure that it cuts smoothly. Wear eyeglasses, you've got bits of metal flying around and uh, just work slowly and carefully. When we're moving into cutting steel, we're going to use a finer blade with finer TPI. And I'll demonstrate that now. So I'm going to cut some 5mm uh, mild steel bar here. And to do that, I'm going to put a finer blade on and I'm going to reduce the speed right down on the machine. So you just change the blade over like you normally would, set the tension like you normally would for just, you know, your timber blades. And um, yeah, get stuck into it.
So with this blade at that speed, gave us a pretty nice clean cut through this five mil steel plate. Um, obviously it's a lot slower than working your way through even hardwood timber. So you've got to you know, account for that. This machine is not fluid cooled. There's no uh, lubricant on the blade or cooling mechanism on the blade. That being said, the blade didn't heat up. I felt some heat in the steel itself, but afterwards the blade itself was really nice and cool. But you're not gonna wanna use this in you know, a really high capacity production environment where you're trying to you know, do really long cuts in thick steel. The machine's just not gonna be quick enough for that. And you're probably pushing past the capacity of, of what it's designed for. But for little uh, cuts on tube and uh, RHS and plate, it'll do a great job. You'll get really nice clean cuts as long as you've set up the machine well and you're using the right blade and the right speed. So, you know, safety first, you want to use eye and ear protection when you're cutting metal as you should when you're cutting timber. If you want any more help setting up your bandsaw or some of the really fine details about setting up the bearings and blocks, check out this video, which is called tuning up your bandsaw or something along those lines um, and it'll go through all of that in detail. Alternatively, you can pick this up at Timbercon, check it out on their website at timbercon.com.au or go and talk to one of the uh, people in the stores.